Before chocolate dessert, Napoleon Louis Bonaparte played by loud speaks to Napoleon Camp. Thank you! And now, Eyewitness to History. The date, June 18, 1815. The place, the Waterloo. On the show called Hysteria, Lau Kinnitun, who played Napoleon Louis Bonaparte and his horse, went to the camp and made celebration. Don't worry, Pop. While you've been in the hospital, I kept working on the monument. See? Hey, it's for horses, Henry. Ah, uh, you're only saying that because I'm your son. While making a night camp around, Napoleon Louis Bonaparte was talked by Napoleon about the winning the war against coalition before it was just for the beginning for life. I represent the Dutch East India Company, purveyors of fine European goods to trade. Well, it's a silly little game we play. A petite piece of real estate I picked up years ago. Unfortunately, world domination can be a costly business. 828,000 square miles of North America, stretching from the Mississippi River to the Rocky Mountains. And an important lesson was learned. In winter, never invade Russia. Miami, maybe, but never Russia. Now, what about the cannons? Can we keep up the cannons? The English seem pretty interested in our cannons. The mizzen mast. The English seem to be tearing it down. Can we give up a mizzen mast? Now I have a small itch, and I know why. Thank you. And now back to more hysteria. <laughs> To celebrate someone's birthday and not have cake seems disrespectful. We're having a class party tomorrow. I said you'd bake cookies. I did. My dad made it. Everyone loved it. I brought the most popular dessert. Are you mad? What are you doing? I'm trying to win a war here. Go away. Miss Sweetwater liked it so much, I said you'd make one for her class sing-along. Fool. Can you not see that I must prepare for today's battle? If you do not stop patronizing me, I will kill you, then sleep like a baby. You can make dessert for our band recital tomorrow, can't you? Performing is hard. We need the kind of energy you can only get from sugar. Now, the fun part. We get to name this delicious new pastry. Any ideas? Ah! That's the guillotine. Hello, Lydia Karaoke Network Sensor here. I'm afraid this segment, Things I Find in My Pants, is totally inappropriate and unacceptable. Let's call this the Napoleon. I like that. That's very nice. The Napoleon, a delicious puff pastry named after me. Why do you always keep your high end inside your coat? So my wife, Josephine, cannot touch my wallet. Well, male chauvinistic tendencies. Named after Nicholas Chauvin, a soldier and overzealous supporter of Napoleon. Informative, but not funny. And so, on a belly full of yummy pastries, Napoleon and his army went on to lose the Battle of Waterloo. You can't win them all! Oh, shucks. Again. 